Welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby! Drip! Oh my god. Woo! Hey everybody, it's Mark. Mark Brutalier. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing what every fashion YouTuber does monthly and showcase some pickups! Yeah! No more! Anyway, so this is mostly just things that I've accumulated in the past like month or so. Things that I've. I think this is a pretty spicy little sack today. We're pretty much ready to get into it. Before I get too ahead of myself, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe so you can continue along our journey of posting mediocre fashion videos. And if you're coming back to the channel, thanks. Appreciate it. Enjoy this video. Hit the push notification bell as well. It's a lot of clothes, Mark. It's my sack. First off, we got these, these beautiful trousers here this kind of chambray color with the little navy side stripe. It's these union made vintage beauties. Honestly, the tag looks super duper new on them. Um, but yeah, everything else about them reads very old. For example, this wonky stitching up in here. Um, but I'm really excited. I feel like these will be a good little spring pant. It's a slightly lighter material. And again, that chambray color really, really speaks spring to me. So, I am excited to throw a crazy fit with these. The sound effects when you were throwing in the items were awful. Mark, it's so loud. God. <clears throat> My eardrums are destroyed. From that. that loud bang after every piece is pissing me off and never do it again. Getting into my next pickup, we have this brown hoodie. Love brown. This is a brown hoodie from LA Apparel. LA Apparel makes a lot of high quality like blanks and stuff, tees, hoodies, sweatshirts. I'm personally a fan. LA Apparel, if you're watching this, maybe you just want to sponsor me, you know? This is a very heavyweight brown hoodie. I've been wanting like some sort of earth tone type hoodie. I was kind of getting tired of trying to bank on the thrift store for one, so I just fessed up and copped this one. But I'm very satisfied with it. It's been good to me. I've worn it a few times already and I plan on wearing it many more. Nice. Let's get into a shoe. What's funny is that this shoe is technically it's supposed to be like a gray color I think according to the description but nobody will convince me that this is not brown looks brown to me let me know what you think this is the 11 by BBS Solomons I really like these they look very just like utilitarian they look kind of messy they look kind of like oily or something like I don't, I don't even know what you would call like the discretion on these but they're super cool um, I thought they were pretty hard to match with at first but once I kind of like started wearing them I've definitely gotten the hang of it, and now I feel like they go with a lot, so I'm very happy to have these. Moving on, we have another springtime pickup. I'm pretty pretty psyched for this one as well. It is this Vintage Levy's jacket, denim trucker. It's on, on the Made in US hard tag. Here's the little, little tag right there. But it's just like super duper light, which usually I'm not really a fan of, like this light of a wash. Um, but for some reason, I just, with the distressing on it, kind of like it. I think it'll be a good little spring switch up. It fits me like kind of more relaxed. Somebody already cut the red tab off for me, which honestly is fine. I think it kind of keeps it more low profile. This is a, this is a really weird, weird cop right here. It's this uh, sweatshirt. Never thought I'd be showing a J. Crew, J. Crew sweatshirt and a pickup haul. But I am crazy about this sweatshirt for some reason. It has all of these like repairs and like paint splatter like these like fake like boro looking repairs it's pretty funny like honestly i could just unstitch this label 
um, and wind up selling it to some vintage shop for $100 probably. It's just so easy to wear, it goes with everything. It's got this like sleeve, sleeve repair as well. It was just a cheap little thrift find and I find myself wearing it all the time. I thought it was kind of a meme at first, but I've uh, grown to really appreciate this guy, so yeah. Continuing, we have a t-shirt, my first t-shirt and only t-shirt of this pick up I believe. And it's hardly a t-shirt at that. It's like this t- it's like this almost like sweatery t-shirt. It is from Beams, Beams Japan. Just a really high quality, like comfortable tee. Like it fits me pretty well. Cozy, it's soft, it's like thick. It's one of those things that I feel like is good for like every season. This one's kind of a kind of a highlight of this thing right here. It's these Lueve boots. Um, it's a women's pair, um, it's got the front zip, uh, I picked these up on Grailed pretty recently. I paid more money than I probably should have, um, but I've been really, really looking for a black boot that actually fits my foot. I was just like desperate, um, and you know, you, on, like when you're on Grailed too late at night, sometimes you make uh, little slip ups, and I wouldn't call this a slip up, I call this a happy accident. Paid a little bit more than I should have, but I really do like these. They're very low profile on foot, and um, yeah, they're a little bit slim like at the, on the foot or whatever, but I think they look pretty good, so I'm pretty happy to have them. Let's do an accessory. This one's courtesy of uh, Ralphie. Elise Shane. Yeah, Elise Shane. Hard shoe real bad. Put it in a leak chains. It is this Elix Elix box is what we got. I got this this chain right here, this Elite Choker. Um, these guys were like really popular a couple years ago, and honestly, like I wanted one then. I never thought I would actually get one now because I kind of was like getting tired of it. But uh, so was Bailey. Bailey had one of these, and he was ready to finally sell it. And I was like, you know, every time I come over, I'm trying this thing on, and I may as well just buy it off of you and try it out and I've actually really been enjoying it it's kind of menacing looking honestly but I wear it with like hoodies and sweatshirts a lot of times and I just kind of like like how easy it is to throw on it adds a little something something to a fit and I feel like I'd never buy jewelry so I'm trying to step it up we'll show this pair of pants again every time I do one of these hauls I feel like Levi's like it's just like it's just so much Levi's so I have these black tab Levi's I feel like I've asked a bunch of people if they've ever seen black tab Levi's and I've heard a lot of no's. Um, but that's what these are. They're on a vintage tag. Got these at a thrift and I love them. It's probably my favorite pair of black jeans. It has like this amazing fade on them. I wear them pretty frequently at this point. Slimmer silhouette without being too slim. They fit me perfectly. Pretty. Pretty stoked when I found those. What? Another Levi's item? Crazy. Um, it's this Levi's Sherpa jacket, made in US. I got a really good deal on this guy. I kind of like never expected myself to get another denim Sherpa jacket. I had one of these in my peak hype beast phase, and I really thought that was just going to be it because these were like super popping a couple years ago. Um, but I really like this one. It keeps you super warm and toasty, and it's kind of an interesting wash. It's like, I don't know what you'd even call this. It kind of has like a speckle to it. Um, but I picked this up on ground for like 25 bucks, so I felt like that was a pretty good little steal. I wouldn't say I'm making any sort of crazy fashion statement in it, but it does its job. It keeps me warm. Last little, last little cop right here. It is these uh, monk strap creeper kind of derby shoe things um, from Jill Sander. Just kidding. They're Kith Asics. I really like the look of these. Um, I've only had them for like a day now, um, but I really do love them. Um, I got a pretty good deal. And yeah, they need some breaking in. I feel like that's why they feel a little bit big at the moment, but I feel like once I kind of break them in, it's gonna be a little bit easier to walk in um, and my heel won't be popping out as much. It's also super low at the bottom here, so that also doesn't help. But yeah, I really, really like these. I feel like they're kind of a nice little vibe, a step up from my docks that I wear. All right, that was everything. That was everything that I brought. Those were all of my cops from the last month, month and a half, whatever it was. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope this was a decent enough haul for you guys. Before I get out of here, I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. We hit 2K subs on here, which is really, really awesome. We look forward to continuing to grow along with you guys. We couldn't do it without you, so big kisses from all of us. 
over here at the Mark underscore Brutalier. Um, family. Family. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. Go subscribe. Remember that Discord. Hit that link in that Discord. Yo, 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 what is good? You got a sh fit? I know I do. I wear sh clothes too. Drop that fit pic in the Discord. And we'll roast you or we'll send you a bottle of mayonnaise. Send your fit pics in the Discord. That is it. That is everything. That is my cops. Have a good day. Enjoy your evening. I have an Arctrix jacket. Before I go, got one more, one more cop. These guys just came in, as you can see, the Fugazi slugs. Shout out Trevor, probably the best purchase you've ever made. Let's see, we got the fun paper and the shoes themselves. These guys are really beautiful. I've already worn them once actually. Uh, we got the details on the bottom, the little uh, shells. We got all this artwork that uh, is on the side panels. Got the bullet holes, all sorts of fun goodies. Really, really awesome. Crazy attention to detail. And I am pretty excited to uh, have these. So again, shout out Trevor. And also, shout out Nicholas, somebody who commented on my last video. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Nice. Shout out you, Nicholas. If you want to be, uh, if you want your comment featured on the next one, just uh, comment. That's it. We will, we will pick some or one or something. <sighs> Nicholas, let's go. Nicholas, I love you, dude. Thank you.